Hi guys, today we get to look at a few different cards, nine new cards, four of them or eight of them being flip cards. We'll start with Vodarian Pariah. Cost five, double black, kind of expensive on the front end. Flying, you have to sacrifice three other creatures to transform it. Uh, it has madness, triple black. So if you sacrifice three creatures, which is a lot, you get a flying six five. Uh, whenever this creature transforms, a uh, target opponent sacrifices three creatures. Very interesting artwork. I don't know if this card is strong enough, but interesting. Smoldering. So this is a good one. Uh, when Smoldering Werewolf enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to each of up to two target creatures. For double red, you transform it. It becomes a 6-4. Whenever it attacks, it deals two damage to target creature. Or player a pretty good and limited definitely having extra damage spells it's pretty good I, I do like the Adrazi cards I do feel like mm, they could be a little bit stronger but they are very flavorful because in a strad is Adrazi strad right now so yeah the next card that we're going to look at is also a flip card and one that you will see in draft tables all over sealed pre-release Vinden Pack Outcast. Four in a red. Trample. Uh, one red. It gets plus one, minus one. Five red and double red. Seven. It transforms into a five seven with trample. One. It gets plus one, plus zero. Which is a very strong ability when you don't have any cards in hand and you just have to attack. It has trample. So that's definitely a bonus on this card. Otherwise it would be pretty bad. So a card that I do feel like will be C play and limited and sealed. Next we have Elder Deep Fiend. I when I first read this, I I read it as Elder Deep Fried, like you know fried octopus. But anyway, it costs eight. It is a five six with flash. It has emerge five double blue, meaning you can cast this spell by sacrificing creature and paying the emerge cost reduced by the creature's converted mana cost. So this guy can get out pretty early. Uh, when you cast it, you can tap up to four, four target permanents, which is not bad considering you can just tap their land and take away a turn. It is a Adrazi Octopus, so no merit lods, but we got this Octopus. Kalsic Prowler, one, and this is probably the most ex one I'm most excited about, especially if you're green aggro. One green, you get a 2-1, which for the most part is okay. It does have a useful creature type. Four in a green, you can transform it and it cannot into a four four that cannot be blocked by more than one creature. Could I see this in modern Jew? I don't know. It really depends. Uh, modern Jew, you're not really trying to hold out until you hit five mana, right? But as a two one, Aomi really has upsides. I like two ones with upside because you never really know. Anyway, that's it. Leave me a comment below. What was your favorite card and what card do you think you want to play at pre-release? Bye, guys.